Hi everyone, today we're introducing our new warehouse connectors. Uh, we're so incredibly excited uh, for this release. Um, for many years, we've uh, brought self-serve analytics on user data. So all of you have been able to see how your products are driving the user outcomes that you've cared about. And today we get to now connect the dots and from user outcomes to business outcomes so that you can really uh, get to unlock that same analysis that you love in Mixpanel on all the data that's sitting in, the, in your data warehouse. Um, Neil's about to walk you through on just how easy it is to get started and how powerful this is for uh, the future of analytics. All right, here we go. The power of this release is that it lets you use Mixpanel to make strategic decisions and focus your team on business outcomes in addition to the user decisions and user outcomes that you already use Mixpanel for. It works by bringing your business data that's in your warehouse into Mixpanel to use alongside your tracked events. And there's some key benefits. So first of all, it's really quick to get set up because you're using data that you already have. The second thing is that you can really trust this data because it's coming from these systems of record and it's the data that's being managed by your data team uh, in your warehouse and being unified and cleaned up and governed. And a really critical aspect of this release is a feature called mirror mode. And mirror mode keeps Mixpanel perfectly in sync with your, with your warehouse data. Um, even updates and deletes that happen to this data are instantly reflected into Mixpanel. It lets you bring together your product data, the tracked events of usage in your product, how your users are interacting with it, together with your business data and events like sales opportunity, support ticket, revenue, cost, so that you can start to see uh, how the changes that you're making to your product are not just affecting your user's engagement with the product, but broaden your view to how is that then impacting your business. So let's jump in and see just how easy it is to get set up and use. So what you do is point it at uh, a warehouse and then point it at uh, tables that are modeled into, into events or, or dimensions that you want to use in Mixpanel. And you can see here um, that we will show you both the sort of purple is the, is the Mixpanel, um, the, the events that are in Mixpanel, and the uh, lava color here is your warehouse data, and they're perfectly in sync and they'll stay that way because of mirror mode. Once you have the data in, uh, you can start using Mixpanel and use the events from your warehouse just like any other events in Mixpanel. So you can use one of our templates um, in, in a few clicks, in a few seconds. You can take um, events that you just loaded from your warehouse. This might be signups based on the transactional data in your, your user's table in your application database. Uh, and then and maybe a, a value event like completed a purchase that comes from your payment system. And, and, and just like that, you've got advanced product analytics, conversion, retention, um, uh, in, in, just, in just a few seconds based on, that, uh, based on that data. So now let's go into some like ad hoc type questions that you might wanna answer using Mixpanel. So first of all, uh, imagine that you um, have a high level of support tickets and you're trying to reduce those by uh, shipping a new tutorials feature. So in the past, the uh, engagement with your tutorials would be tracked in, in Mixpanel, and, but your support tickets would be in a different system and in, in, in your warehouse. And if you wanted to stitch those two data sets together and answer that question, you would have to ask someone on your data team and they'd have to wrangle the data and write some complex SQL queries. Whereas now, because it's in Mixpanel, you can just go and look at, okay, uh, let's look at watch tutorial. Let's look at um, support tickets. Okay, and you can see right off the bat here, okay, as people start watching these tutorials, support tickets have come down. You can even do advanced kind of behavioral correlation that would be, you know, really cumbersome, you know, window functions and, and things like that in SQL. So let's, let's do a breakdown here um, where we can look at support tickets submitted by people broken down by um, how, how many tutorials they've watched. Okay, so now you can see that um, people who've not watched any tutorials zero times, they're still submitting a lot of support tickets. But people who've even watched just one tutorial uh, submitting far fewer support tickets and, and so on. As people watch more tutorials, they're submitting less tickets. So uh, instead of having to go and, and do a lot of time-consuming um, 
data analysis in your warehouse, you can answer these questions really, really quickly in Mixpanel. And it's a great example of how you can see the impact beyond just product, but also on, on, on your support team. Let's look at an even more advanced use case. So imagine that you have tried a free returns promotion and you're wondering if that's driving more purchases. So you could set that up using your purchases data that you captured as events in, in your clickstream data in the app. The issue with that is uh, it won't include things like refunds, cancellations, fraudulent transactions. And so you can see here, here are the adjusted purchases in the warehouse that have been adjusted to account for all of those things. And this is where product analytics can diverge, your tracked event stream data can diverge from your company's source of truth data. And the issue with that is what, what can happen is you would then go and um, look at, here's the lift based on your uh, event stream data, and here's the lift based on the adjusted data. And so you might say, oh, we had that, that, that feature had an 80% lift, but then your data team would run the analysis and say, actually, it was a 40% lift, and you would have trust issues, um, and now you won't. So that is um, just a quick run through of the types of things that you can do uh, once you bring your product and business data together in Mixpanel. And um, we're super excited to uh, show you more and also start loading customer data and getting into answering all the questions that, that you have. So uh, if you schedule a call with us and bring someone who has access to your warehouse, we will get you up and running in 30 minutes. And uh, we're really excited to, to do that. Thanks a lot.